so hello friends today we see about when we have created one flow in given flow okay what we are doing here okay when any new item is created okay in sharepoint or modified now for we create one new record okay name to it for any attachment is added okay like uh, anything excel word photo to us okay that will convert to pdf format okay here is i am uploading the excel file you can see book 6r file 6 format is excel okay uploading this file okay and saving given file okay after saving this the flow will run flow will run and new record will create here and this attachment that is showing us the excel is changed to the pdf okay let's go so now it is excel when we uh, run our flow okay refresh it is refreshing so here also our flow is also running i will show in detail now 9 12 because of might of internet slow okay it's taking some time here you can see at 9 or 12 our flow is running okay let's we see okay we our flow is run successfully you can see here we get converted file in our pdf format on mail as well as in last record we saw now the file attachment is converted to the pdf okay how to create this type of scenario okay you in our flow i will show the flow in stepwise manner okay we go in edit mode this is showing because of uh, slow network if i will refresh this succeeded show as i refresh our flow power automate so <coughs> we get the success message also you can all can see at march 15 the flow is succeeded okay. let's we go and edit first to trigger the condition what we are doing when item is created or modified we are taking this condition okay we give site address to this in my case patch example name is my site address and list name is geography you I already shown the list to you and no other entity we have fill here only mandatory fields i have fill here site address and list to okay after that what we have to do we have to take attachment from our list okay from this list we are attaching our attachment we have to take that attachment separately for getting that attachment we use get attachment and taking attachment from this flow okay and take an id of that modified item this is id from this modified item and list name and site name similarly for this okay. after that we go and <coughs> add one condition here get attachment contain okay give site address this name id this id is from when item is created or modified and this file identifier is get attachment id okay <clears throat> after you put get attachment id here the looping condition will be run okay and this uh, trigger action will go under looping condition in apply to each okay <clears throat> after that what we are doing here now we get attachment from our sharepoint we are creating that attachment in OneDrive by using create file giving name, file name, body from this get attachment content okay display name from here get attachment and body similarly from here okay this body is file content okay and in some cases it will show file content or shows body okay and now we take one preview connector convert file okay and converting that file to the pdf from this step create file we are taking id of this item and passing to the convert file okay on the basis of this convert to pdf okay 
the pdf file will generated in our one drive okay we are not creating that file in any place that's why it is not save anywhere that is save in our flow okay that's why our one drive storage also not save okay after that what we are we have to delete previous attachment to add new attachment in our list so by using delete attachment we are deleting the attachment from our file okay id is sharepoint id that we are taken here when item is modified or created okay and this id is file identifier id okay means this get attachment id okay? after that uh, attachment was created and uh, we use file content from this convert file and body similarly from the convert file okay after that we use send email from by using v2 connector of outlook and similarly we are passing the values okay subject you can give as per your condition body also you can give as per your condition okay other mandatory fields you can fill for attachment give file name and uh, for attachment content give body from that converted file that's all friends i have already shown to you how this flow works okay uh, you can try it also by using power v2 connector okay when you are uploading file to your application or this will also works uh, good okay that's all friends if you have some doubts on this topic you can ask me question okay thank you everyone